Dan Vivers the 20th of April 2018 Professor Mifsud, Sterling University boasted of his links to Russia. Flickr, OEAOs, PAA former Sterling University academic who is embroiled in the U.S. probe into Donald Trump's links with Russia has been named in a multi-million dollar lawsuit filed by the Democratic National Committee, DNC. Joseph Mifsud, who allegedly set up meetings between a Trump campaign aide and Russian officials, has been branded Russian agent in papers lodged with a New York court on Friday. The Maltese professor quit his post at Sterling in November last year in the wake of the revelations. The lawsuit by the DNC, which is the formal governing body of the U.S. Democratic Party, names as defendants more than two dozen persons and organizations for an alleged conspiracy to interfere in the 2016 elections. Among them include the Russian Federation, a suspected hacker, the Donald Trump presidential campaign, Trump's son-in-law Jared Kushner, Donald Trump Jr., WikiLeaks and Julian Assange, a Russian oligarch and his pop singer son, and Professor Mifsud. It comes after a U.S. criminal indictment released in October 2017 quoted a number of emails and summarized verbal communications between ex-Trump foreign policy aide George Papadopoulos and an anonymous academic, who was later named as Professor Mifsud Fay interactions between the pair include the Sterling professor allegedly informing Papadopoulos of dirt on Hillary Clinton in the form of thousands of emails on April 26, 2016, an accusation Professor Mifsud has denied. These interactions occurred several months before an enormous tranche of DNC emails began being released by WikiLeaks following server breaches by suspected Russian hackers in July 2015 and April 2016. HTTPS colon slash slash stv.tv slash news slash politics slash 140117 5 sterling dash academic dash set dash up dash russia dash meetings dash with dash trump dash aid slash default in the DNC lawsuit. Professor Mifsud is described as having substantial connections to the Kremlin and acting as a de facto agent of the Russian government in his contacts with Papadopoulos. The papers also cite an interview the academic gave to an Italian newspaper on October 31st where he admitted meeting the Trump aide three or four times and helping connect him with official and unofficial sources, but he also told the newspaper, La Repubblica, during the same interview, I never got a penny from the Russians, my conscience is clean, the academics' present whereabouts are unknown, with CNN reporting on November 10 that he had disappeared from another university in Rome, Italy, where he also teaches. BuzzFeed recently reported that Professor Mifsud cut contact with his pregnant Ukrainian fiancé following the revelations. Another BuzzFeed story found that Italian prosecutors had been unable to track the academic down despite his being wanted by a Sicilian court on entirely separate charges of financial wrongdoing at a university in 2010, as STV News revealed last year. At the time of his interactions with Papadopoulos in the spring of 2016, Professor Mifsud was working for Sterling University as a part-time professorial teaching fellow. Emails obtained by STV also showed that university management had boasted to staff in the politics department of the academics links to Vladimir Putin, around the same time as his meetings with the Trump aide. HTTPS colon slash slash STV dot TV slash news slash politics slash 1401453 dash sterling dash university dash boasted dash of dash professor dash s dash Putin dash link slash default the Papadopoulos indictment alleges that Professor Mifsud put him in contact with a man who had links to Russia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Professor Mifsud also reportedly arranged a meeting in London where he introduced a Russian woman to Papadopoulos, falsely claiming she was President Putin's niece. Papadopoulos pleaded guilty to initially misleading FBI agents about his relationship with the academic. He was indicted as part of U.S. Special Counsel Robert Mueller's ongoing investigation into the presidential campaign's ties to the Kremlin. Its lawsuit, the DNC goes on to accuse the Trump campaign of being aware of and encouraging the meetings between Papadopoulos and Professor Mifsud. It names the pair along with 23 other defendants in an alleged conspiracy to destabilize U.S. politics during an election year, hurt Hillary Clinton and the Democrats' campaigns and help elect Trump as U.S. president. The lawsuit brands the Trump campaign a racketeering enterprise, citing America's RICO Act which allows co-conspirators within the same criminal enterprise to be charged under one law, https colon slash slash stv tv slash news slash politics slash 1403414 sterling dash academic dash tide dash to dash trump dash russia dash probe dash quits dash post slash default the DNC is seeking millions of dollars in reparations for the profound damage the various alleged activities caused the party during the 2016 elections.
Questions have also been raised about Professor Mifsud's activities in the UK, where he became director of the now-defunct London Academy of Diplomacy in 2012 and was involved with the University of East Anglia as well as Stirling. The Scottish University claimed the academic was hired due to his portfolio in international affairs and diplomacy, reflecting his academic and professional background in this field, there is no evidence of any academic research carried out in these fields by Professor Mifsud, whose academic background is in education. Stirling University refused an information request from STV News for details of Professor Mifsud's academic background in international affairs and diplomacy, citing data protection. He did serve as a private secretary to former Maltese Foreign Minister Michael Frando between 2006 and 2007 but does not ever appear to have been a formal diplomat. Professor Mifsud was also pictured with UK Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson at a fundraising dinner in Berkshire last October. Boris Johnson, Professor Mifsud pictured with Foreign Secretary last year. Former UK Culture Secretary Ben Bradshaw has written twice to Sterling Principal Professor Jerry McCormick seeking further clarity on Professor Mifsud's role at the institution. The Labour MP wanted to know more about the university's involvement with the academic, including the history of his connections with both Professor McCormick and Sterling's ex-deputy principal Professor John Gardner. He further asked about Sterling's involvement with the institution Professor Mifsud ran from 2012 until its closure in 2016, the London Academy of Diplomacy. The diplomatic school partnered with Sterling in 2014, around the same time it had reported annual financial losses of nearly £4 million, and administrative expenses of £7.5 million. Bradshaw has criticized both Sterling and the University of East Anglia for a lack of transparency over their dealings with the Maltese professor and the academy. The MP branded his most recent reply from Professor McCormick wholly unsatisfactory, adding, It doesn't begin to answer any of my substantive questions. https colon slash slash stv dot tv slash news slash politics slash one four oh eight eight five five dash university dash slam dash for dash response dash on dash trump dash russia dash academic slash default download. The STV news app is Scotland's favorite and is available for iPhone from the App Store and for Android from Google Play. Download it today and continue to enjoy STV news wherever you are.